Here's how simple it is to make this grungy ink bleed effect here in Photoshop. I'm gonna go with this artboard size as a reference. Let's go and select the type tool and type in something. I'm gonna go with this text as a reference and I'm gonna scale it up more. By the way, I went to the Akira Expanded Super Bold font. I'm gonna press Ctrl A and arrange it to the center. Press Ctrl D to deselect. And for the next step, I'm gonna go to Filter, Blur and select Gaussian Blur. Let's click on Convert to Smart Object. And I'm gonna increase the blurriness quite a bit. I'm gonna go with like 12. So it's gonna make it quite blurry. Click OK. So now I'm gonna go and search for a texture or an image. It doesn't really matter. And for example, I'm just gonna drag and drop this image with a model. I'm gonna scale it up, make it fit. And I'm gonna go and press and hold Alt. And let's go and click in between the layers between the subject and between the text. So it's gonna create this arrow pointing downwards. Click on it. So as you can see, the subject or the texture is going to show only in the text. And I'm gonna to go to the adjustments, select threshold. And now let's go and adjust the threshold. I'm gonna increase it. So it's gonna fill it up the text even more. And you also can go and select the texture or the model and just rearrange it. So this way you can mix up the grunge or you can go press control T again, scale it up or scale it down. Now it starts to look more interesting. And you also can add some blur on this. So as you can see that the layer with the subject or with the texture is actually a smart object. So because of that, we can go back to the filter, go to blur, select the Gaussian blur on it. And here I can increase or decrease it and check this out. It is going to reduce quite a bit of details. I'm gonna go with like 1.5, click OK. It's gonna look even better. And you can play around with it. You can rotate it and do whatever you like. You can constantly get new results. And pretty much this is how I can make a really nice ink bleed effect with grunge here on Photoshop. Thanks for watching.